Hey guys and welcome back to the Heroes Global Summer Circuit. Relics, man, they're not doing it just yet. They nope. just lost two nope. sets. I think Renovacio has found their weakness. I think so. Yeah, they yeah, <laughs> they've been able so. to get it. So correct. The two bands that they did there, I think, mm -hmm. uh, very much on point. And I think it's just keen observation from day one yesterday, yep. where you saw them play the Tessadar for both games, mm -hmm. and they ran in Morales the second game as well. I think uh, that's the backbone right there, man. Yeah, backbone of that draft is, of course, Tessadar and Lieutenant Morales, and both were denied in that game. So as you can see, they started to crumble a little bit. And the Johanna pick up as Capricorn on point. This is why we need a competitive player to be yeah, with we us do, as we well. Do. You know, yeah. he was on point with that. You know, he just wasn't able to chase down Tychus and Tychus with the minigun. Johanna is supposed to be the tankiest. Yeah. He, I, you know, tank. I think I think he was actually speaking from experience because yeah, they had yeah. the same game against Renovacio. Yep. Same mid lane, Dragonshire, very different battleground, but you know nobody cares. Mm -hmm. Uh, in that mid lane, uh, I think it was Johanna against Tychus. Mm -hmm. And Johanna's uh, no, shield glare just, just does not affect the minigun. Correct. It does not. Yeah, it's really yeah, unfortunate. It's, it's still there. Hurts. Yeah. yeah. So, yeah, painful as it is. Uh, I think we're lesson. now going into the rubber set. Rubber set? It is going to be a best of three. So, Relic still has a chance. But right now, Renovacio look like they are on point. Yep, it's, uh, it's a clean, brand new BO3. We call yep. it the rubber set. Uh, and here we have whoever wins two out of three mm -hmm. games will be taking the tickets to Sweden. Mm -hmm. But do note that this is also, the f uh, I think, the first time in the Southeast Asia regional finals they've mm -hmm. gone into a rubber set. Oh, really? Previously, it was okay. all the individual country qualifiers going there. But then at the SEA regionals, it's always very clean. Mm -hmm. Like last season, Renovacio had it down. Down, okay. 100%. In the first uh, Road to BlizzCon last year, Relic had it down. Mm -hmm. Like they did drop one game. They did drop yeah, one game, but, but it's like to. still 2-1. Yeah. They, they got it clean. So here, uh, well, it's going to be a very different set. But do note that this is the same two teams, mm -hmm. I think, they have been talking about for the longest time. A yep. uh, very long rivalry uh, between each other, and they're also very good friends. Mm -hmm. So here we go. Who's the yep. better team? We'll find out. <laughs> so the draft has already started as we move into the rubber set. The map is going to be Dragonshire. Oh, uh, you can just close both oh, my wow. eyes. I'll just tell you the bands. <laughs> Red of Vasho, they just have it down. They ban out the Tassada. They ban out the Lieutenant Morales. Just like that. They know the backbone of the Relics draft. Yeah, and Relics just does not want to relent on the Greymane Correct. or Muradin. Because they have other reasons, like their warrior player, if you realize, only plays the uh, either the ETC mm -hmm. or the Muradin. Or the Muradin. When you put Ban Ban yep. on the stitches, I don't think it was as effective. Yep. Uh, that was a witness in the last two Correct. games. Yeah. Yeah, he did have some glimpses earlier on when they were playing against GDG9. But of course, GDG9 are much, I, w I wouldn't say weaker, but a slightly less uh, experienced teams compared to Vernovacio. Uh, Relix also banned out the Thrall and the Li Meng. I think Thrall, as you mentioned, they just don't want to give it to Vernovacio. It's a respect ban out of towards them as well. But this time around, they will have the Muradin ready and available for Bun Bun. I was just talking to him and their spirit Rainer. is gone. Yeah. Like, they need to pick themselves up right now. You know what? The, the only way around it, I foresee is if you first pick Morales. But he's just going to get banned out. Uh, yeah, that is true uh, if you, you first know? pick Morales. But in, then the first picking, uh, in, in the first pick phase. Yeah, yeah but you, then you again, you, you, you let Muradin go too. So Yeah, well, in that case, then, you know, you, you pick the ETC Morales. You give Renovasha the agreement. Mm -hmm. You have to take that risk. Yeah, I it's think It's the so only too. way you can have the best of both worlds. Mm -hmm. I mean, for Relics. It's the only way to have best either the worlds, ETC yeah. or Muradin and left in the Morales. Yeah. I know you cannot get the Tesla because it's always going to get banned out. That's uh, consistent. Uh, I mean, Southeast Asia is kind of weird. We're kind of like having half of Korea because okay. they always first ban the Tesla and the Illidan. Illidan. Okay. But here we only had, we only you know inherited <laughs> half of those genes. We, there. we don't care about yeah, the we Illidan. We don't have we the other gene. <laughs> it's missing. No Fs were given. So <laughs> <laughs> wow, I, I I didn't say the word. Yeah. Okay. So Vernus, Tychus, Sonia, <laughs> Ragar, ETC. Uh, great. Uh, I mean, I like the synergy a lot. Of course, Savannah is going to provide a lot of mm -hmm. a split push attempt. And Renovasha, the, the morale must be very high once again. Yep. Relic Swift, the bright wing. Huh. Clearly, they have run out of ideas. Yeah, I think they have run out of ideas here. I think, you know, and Uther would have still been better for the draft, but they instead go with the bright wing. Will this work out for them, though? I don't know. Mm -hmm. It's a bit tough for them, I feel. 
They do go with the Rainer, Falstad, Greymane, and Muradin. At least they have the Muradin for the front lines. At least Bun Bun has something that is closer to his heart. He's able to play it a little bit better. They do have the Greymane as well, and Falstad for the damage. Along with Rainer, they're going for triple DPS, but Brightwing, not the best of healers by himself, I think. Yeah. yeah. Still, Brightwing, Rainer, Falstad, Greyman, Muradin. What I can see from this one here is that uh, they pick Brightwing because Brightwing would be a good counter against ETC. That's the first. Mm -hmm. And also the fact that Brightwing has got that uh, mobility for sure. Rainer is also a great counter against ETC, so that may actually work. Um, but man, two games, man. Mm -hmm. You're going to have to think of it from a macro point of view where you have to find a strategy for two games and you've only got five minutes to do it. Correct. No, it's not going to be easy. Yeah, it's definitely not going to be easy, especially when your basically your tactics have been figured out. As you can see here, Renovacio, we don't even have to look at the draft anymore. You know, It's just going to be Tassada and Lieutenant Morales being banned up by Renovacio. They don't even want to give this two relics. Uh, we, they gave it away to them in the first game and then they just lost so yeah. badly. Yeah. And the second game, they just didn't give it away. They picked up the Ilden instead. To along counter with the, the Morales, yeah, right? To counter yeah. the Morales. And then, you know, that was that, so... Rivasho, at least the tactics are on point, and I think the hero pool is a bit bigger. They have like uh, the players that can play a little bit more of a wider hero pool. So Relics is going to have a hard time here. What looked like were once the favorites, I think Rivasho now they have them yeah. figured out. So the Filipinos are uh, chasing in, mm -hmm. closing in, closing in, definitely very very close in this one. Well, uh, we have this uh, agreement on the side that we will actually do a reprediction. I think so this time around, Renovash is going to take it 2-1. I think Relics will at least pull one game back. Okay. Maybe in this first game, I'm not too sure. But I think Renovash overall has been pretty solid. Uh -huh. And I think... Just to say that it, it sounds really bad that you said yeah. that it's going to go 2-0 and I mean, now Renovash 2-1. Okay, that was before... Uh, my oh, defense, in my wow. defense, in okay. my defense. Okay. That was before Renovash figured them out mm -hmm. with the Tassada Lieutenant Morales pickups. Okay, so before they were able to figure them out on that aspect... I would have said that Relics had it down. You know, they had the strategies down. They knew exactly what they wanted to do and they executed it really per to perfection. And that's why they came through the winner's bracket and that's why they're here. But right now, going up against Renovacio, finally being figured out, you know, of their weaknesses and their weak points, Renovacio, they are pulling forward. And again, as I was talking, you know, I went over there to speak to a couple of the players, Trinity, Ban Ban, uh, even Murr himself, you know, they, they're, they're feeling a bit down, you know, after... Give, coming on one, one game and then they knowing that their tactics have been s you found out now they're like oh crap what do we do now so the they're mistake a bit was lost. not banning Illidan correct just like saying <laughs> yeah yeah if they ban out Illidan in the uh, second no game problem. you mean yeah, yeah they would have maybe won, won it game yeah, maybe it, oh, no 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 drama whatsoever mm -hmm. But still, I have to give a huge props to uh, Rene Vasho's draft to whoever that is. Yeah, to it. You don't know who the draft is? Out. I don't know. <laughs> okay. No, I don't speak to uh, them. I think for the last three months, I haven't really spoken to them yeah. at all. But um, <coughs> it looks like they've been doing their homework. So. No, that guy's just really smart. <laughs> yeah. I mean, he's he's able to figure them out pretty quickly. Yeah, if so. you've played four games with the same team and you still haven't figured that out, then it must be pretty, you know. Yeah, that is true. That is true. Lagging behind quite a fair <laughs> bit. Uh, Rene Vasho. Now, I I actually really like the. The Tychus, I mm -hmm. think. Tychus is a great counter against Muradin. Uh, they will actually just march past the Muradin mm -hmm. if they want to. This looks like it's the standard Renovatio burst style of yeah. composition. They will go past with uh, Sonya ETC. I don't think it's that big of a problem. Yeah, Sonya's just going to dive right in there. Yep. ETC as well, the, the power slide. I really don't see how Relax is going to repel this. Uh, you know, they're just going to ignore the Muradin. Yeah, sure, he can stun out your Sylvanas. He can stun out your Tychus a little bit, but... What's that really gonna do? You know, you're not gonna be. He's not gonna be able to take it down by himself. And then, Rega, not Rega, sorry, uh, Sonia and ETC is just gonna go in straight for the back line. And if you're gonna aim Tychus, Sylvanas is gonna help them, and the DPS is gonna be down. And the the, the back line is just always gonna be vulnerable for Relics here. So. Yep. Don't forget Dragon Shire, man. Rotation is gonna be heavy yep. in terms of a team fight. Not so much till the mid to late game. Mm -hmm. So early game. I would still be expecting that. I mean, I will not be surprised if Relics goes all in for an early game comp mm -hmm. uh, sooner or later because they know they need to do it. Yeah. That's the only way. That's the only way they can win this. Probably get like an early advantage and just try to snowball out of control. But, you know, as you know, Babel pointed out, this is the rubber set. We're going to start clean again. As you can see, it's 0-0 zero to zero from both sides. Whoever wins two games in this best of three series will take those tickets to Sweden for DreamHack Summer. Yeah, Summer. Yeah, for DreamHack and, uh, Summer. And they will be having... A really good time there. They also mm -hmm. guaranteed, I think, 12,500 12, yeah, US, US dollars. dollars. That's yeah. a lot of money. Yep. That is a lot of money. That's about 2,500 US dollars a person. 
man, the money, the things I can do with that, the heroes I can buy. I can finally own every single hero in Heroes of the Storm. Yeah. <laughs> you just need to cut down on their meals to do that. Hey, come on. Stop taking a st <laughs> stop taking that stab at my weight. I know I'm fat. <laughs> the stream knows I'm fat. Everyone knows I'm fat. Yeah. But at least I have a girlfriend. Yes, she oh. exists. <laughs> <laughs> well, congratulations. Thank you right there. Well, I'll go in the loading screen right now of Dragonshire, of course, it is going to be Relics and Renovatio, a clean a slate for Renovatio this time around. It is going to be a clean best of three between these two teams. Who is going to come on top, up on top? That is the question here that we have to go for. Will Renovatio be able to continue riding on their momentum so far? Or will Relics be able to finally fight back and prove, you know? They yep. are there. They deserve to be here. Over on the blue side, we will have Team Relic. Zayce is going to be on the grey main. And I, th I, I agree with you. I think they need to release the grey main a little bit yeah. if they want to go into their comfort. Ban Ban going to be on his Muradin. Zess N is going to be on the Falsa Trinity on the Reina as well as Mur uh, playing the Bright Wing. Yep, and on the red team, Renovasha from the Philippines. Here we go, ladies and gentlemen. His squad will be your attackers. VYY on the Savannah Jumpy line will be your Sonia Hahar playing as the ETC stronger as the Regar. Yep, as we do see a bit of a few rotations right now. Sonia hit straight away heading towards the top lane. It does look like the red team wants to set something up here. Again, we're going to see ETC being picked up uh, by, I believe, Jumpy no, Har Har. Sorry, he is an awesomely patient player, I have to say. He just waits for the perfect opportune moment, as you can see. He doesn't overextend. If it was me, I was just, the moment I saw a hero power slide in, as we could see now, Zay is running away. He's going to run into Jumpy Lion. However, he is going to be able to disengage out of there. And he will be safe for now. That would have been the first blood kill had he not get out of there. Yeah, very nicely done by Zay. Still very close and a bit too close for my liking. Now Hahar goes in for a good stun on two, but does not get any value out of it. Gets it on in return. Nice penetrating round on a three man. A lot of value there. Ban Ban with the lockdown against his Koas Tychus. Ban Ban now a little bit of trouble. Dog toss out of trouble. Will be fine. And at the bottom lane, it seems like the fight still goes on. Murr now applying a lot of pressure on his minions and ETC already going back to the mid lane. He's, this is good discipline here. Mm -hmm. He's going to be able to get a bit of extra EXP. Yep, he's going to help his team get a bit more soaked, but he is in turn going to run into that Ban Ban who gets the stun off, but he has the power slide, thankfully. And he will be able to get away a bit of guitar solo. He should be able to get his hit health back right back up as well. His Goa now could be in some trouble himself, but he will be able to dash back to the safety of his towers. And the blue side will be forced to get away. They look like they want to try and set a gank here. But that's like Jumpy Lion will be able to take that top sunshine. As Zess N will have a lot to deal with here. With now Har Har making his way towards that area as well. Again, look at that. So sneaky Har Har. I have to say he's sometimes a ninja for me. Yep. He's coming in from the back line now. Power slide in onto the uh, Zess N. He does not have his barrel roll just yet. Mer will be able to teleport onto him. And he should be just fine now. Har Har, they are trying to turn the tides. Lightning Rod going to be doing quite a bit of damage onto him. But he will be able, again be able to back off into safety. Bottom lane though, we do some skir see some skirmishes happening. The two people holding guns as now Ban Ban goes in. No stun just yet. He finally gets the stun off, but Stronger is going to be there as well. Sylvanas looks like he will be able to get the Dragon at the Knight at the middle lane. And really unfortunate, the first objective, the first Dragon Knight will go in favor of Renovatio. As again, they are really doing a good job so far as we see yeah. a kick by Ban Ban all the way back. Well, Dragonshire uh, is a battleground that I think Renovash has proven time and time again that they can play well on this one. Uh, always snagging those early Dragon Knights. Mm -hmm. Although the first game that they lost against Relics was actually on the same yeah, battleground. Yeah, on the same battleground, yeah. But seems like they're having a lot of a better control over this game right now. Bottom lane getting a bit of aggression coming up from VYY. Mm -hmm. squad. They also pick off the Rainer. Great plays there by the Tychus. They also take down the towers in the front uh, portion of this lane. Both the mid and the bottom already cleaned out. Fire in the hole by that Tychus as we do see a polymorph there onto the Tychus to try and get away, but you know the damage again has already done. Rainer gets taken down. They do take out the outer towers and just like that, a full level advantage in favor of Renovatio as they continue to push the aggression. And again, this isn't the same relics that we've seen from the previous matches. You know, again, I think Morel is plays a huge part. Uh, in esports, you know, in those competitive games, you definitely need to keep your morale constantly up there because the moment you, you start stop believing in yourself, that's when you've lost the game. And the moment Renovasho uh, started gaining this traction from them, you just start seeing, uh, you know, the strength that comes in from them as well. So, Relics, man, they need to find that groove. They need to find the, th themselves getting back into this. Level 7 now picked up by Renovasho as well. They will be a talent here ahead, but Relics will be not far behind, of course. Yep, still uh, chasing the level 7 right now. And uh, Renovasho 
getting very, very clear dominance over the bottom area of this battleground. In fact, the bottom lane, I think that they will be able to hold on this aggression pretty easily. The sea shines very nicely protected as well. VYY just disabling the fort. Savannah does that so well. Trinity taking a bit of a damage from uh, Tychus and you can tell that he is playing very aggressively, slightly out of position in fact. Do note that their healer is only a Brightwing, so yeah. I'm not very convinced of this healer right now. Correct. Yeah, as you do see the healer coming in, Jumping Lion at that top lane, uh, getting pushed down by those uh, Siege minions as well. As they try to take out the top tower, Zest and trying to pull back some of the EXP loss at that bottom lane. But it does look like the red side. There could be some trouble here. Har Har, he is just trying to bait in them towards their team. But they will be able to pick up that camp as well at that bottom lane. That's going to help them in their efforts of pushing. Now the Sun Shrines are going to be activated along with the Moonshine at the bottom. Stronger is going to get it. Faustar will get the one at the top. I'm not sure, too sure for how long though, as now they have to defend against this fort push. It does look like VYY wants to go in, will be able to disable out that fort and it's going to go down. And that's going to give them level 9 again, full level XP advantage in favor of Renovatio. They are going to get their level 10 first and this is not looking too good for Team Relics. Yeah, but they just killed Sonya in the top lane. So at least they're going to be able to maintain the Shrine pressure. And at the bottom lane, this is just the merits of Sylvanas. Very good push coming on Renovatio. Still maintaining the level lead. Meanwhile here for the ETC, just taking too much damage. But we'll be okay. Yep, Brightwing will get to him. And Bun Bun still at the middle lane now. Taking a bit of damage himself as well. As now the Tyke is just going at it. Uh, you know, he just does so well against those tank classes. You know, and Tyke is just a hero to be reckoned with when you're playing a tank, of course. Top lane, we are going to see ETC going at it with Zayz with a rotation coming from Sylvanas. They will get control of both those Dragon Knight, uh, Dragon Shires. And no, in fact, bottom lane, it is going to be save the day, I believe. Uh, who is that? Rainer. So, Trinity, yeah. Yeah, Trinity playing the Rainer, so they should be fine for now. They don't give away the Dragon Knight just yet. Level 10 just about picked up for Renovatio soon. Relax needs to be wary of their positioning. They need to back off a little bit as well. They don't want to go and engage this uh, onto Renovatio. We see Rafa the Berserker being picked up. Ancestral healing as well by Rhaegar. Moshpit going to be picked up by ETC. The arrow going to be picked up by Sylvanas along with Laser Drill. So no Odin this time. Yeah, very slow game right here. Only two kills in the first uh, what looks like six minutes of this game. Haha. -ha. Oh, going in and it looks like that's about to change. Bun Bun with a nice soft toss back out again. Relics on the disengage. Renovasha in the mid lane doing a lot of work right now against a few of those members securing this area as well. ETC looking for the shrine, does not find it. Zez and will channel up the bottom moon shrine. So that means that they will have one shrine each side and they will have to rotate to the bottom lane once more. Yep. This is not. This is looking pretty even between the both teams, but it does look like Renovatio is the one setting the pace for the game. They are the ones doing the better rotations. They are the ones threatening a little bit more in terms of those uh, shines and everything. Jumpy Lion, of course, wicked in that brush as well. Uh, but this, it does look like Renovatio is setting the pace of the game and Relics is more of counter-reacting to what they're doing. As we do see Jumpy Lion again going to try and take control. He is just going to waste the time though as he will be able to back off safely. Again, now Harha could be in some trouble here. Getting stunned, getting polymorphed as well. But he goes in now with the power stack. Moshpit connecting on two. And this is danger. Not too sure what Brightwing was trying to do. They actually went going in. But down he went. Oh, nightmare. What a I nightmare. Think, I think uh, either polymorph out of range or... Just could it was on cooldown. I think he used it already. Let's yep. check if we have a replay of that so that we can figure that one out. Yeah, we will talk to our admin and see if we can get a replay on that. Uh, we do have a replay available here, so let's take a look at what happened there. As you can see, again, uh, ETC doing a really good job as we can get to the camera probably. Yeah, you see ETC getting stunned out. They were overcommitted there a little bit too much. He saw the opening, he went back straight in, and I think the polymorph was used. You see, he actually went in there. Uh, he got stunned out as well, and then down he went. So a nice three hero kill as Renovatio now threatened the inner towers and inner structures as well. This is not looking good for Relics. Not yep. looking good at all. Not good at all, and a great mosh pit there by the ETC. Uh, so see another lockdown here against Bun Bun. Renovatio looking very good indeed. Yeah. Renovatio, again, as I said, I, said, I said earlier, it looks like they are the ones controlling the pace of the game. They are the ones bringing the fights to Relics, and they, although they allowed them to get openings, like just now that we saw instantly, the moment ETC saw uh, the opening, he went right back in, got the mosh pit off. Unfortunately for Brightwing, he did not able to, was not able to get the polymorph off to cancel it out, and you know, you just lose three heroes there. And this is the problem when you only have a solo Brightwing support as well. I just, it's just not enough heals and not enough support coming off from the Brightwing. 
that's what happens when you only have the Tassada and Lieutenant Morales for your side. Here we see again Power Slide in onto Trinity. He's gonna get instantly take down, not before he chose out his battle cruiser in the Hyperion. Now we see the Mighty Gust only connecting onto one though. Ancestral healing gonna pop him right back up. Ooh, Foul Star dropping low. Zest and will be able to get away, but Bun Bun not so lucky as he gets taken down there as well. Wow. Yep. It seems like Renovasha is going to be the team that's going to get a bit of a lead here yep. in this series if they're able to pick up this win. And uh, already the top four is going to go down. Three forts already down on the side of Relics. They are looking to be in a very bad spot. They need to get a level 13 first before they can pick up this fight back up with Renovasha, who is dominating yep. this game number four. Yep, game number four. I think the problem is, I think the execution-wise, these two teams have it down. It's just they're getting outdrafted here, Relics. Uh, again, the hero pool is a bit too small, but hold that thought. We see a initiation on by the Relics team, but Jumpy Line will be able to get away there as they will retreat back uh, into their lanes and just push out those lanes. And as I mentioned earlier, you know, it's just they're just getting outdrafted. The hero pool is a little bit too small, and they're just getting what we call brain stuck once the draft comes in. The moment they ban out the Tassada and the Lieutenant Morales, you just, you're just unable to do anything about it, and it's getting more more and more um, it, what's the word for it I can't I, it's not coming to my head but it's getting more and more like uh, it's made more and more aware in the sense that you know relics the weakness obvious. is there yeah obvious I guess uh, so to say Trinity now getting caught here Reyna could be in some trouble might see you guys gonna save him for now might see you guys saving the day but Renovasho they are two levels ahead about to get to level 16 as well and that's gonna put them one talent here ahead Relics now, just playing catch up this entire game and it must be hard when you were so far in front to now be playing catch up all the way. Yep, they are about to lose the first game here. <laughs> three level lead, I mean I'm being serious, this yeah. is a three level lead for Renovasha. The only way they can win this one now is they take a flawless fight. Not dropping any single one and even then it will only be a level 15 maximum. So we'll have to see how they cope with this one. Uh, false stat, of course, going up to the top lane. The advantage he brings is this mobility across this entire battleground. Six and one, that's the kill count. See Giants dropping very quickly. And if you look at the talent options, it does seem like it is going to be a standard build here for Sonya. Even Tykus is going for his uh, minigun upgrade. That's, that's pretty good to see as well. Mm -hmm. And nothing too surprising. Yep, Jumpy Lion now jumping right in there, trying to set something up onto Trinity. We do see a totem dropping, dropped by Rega as they do again go full fledged in onto this. They want to go for that keep. They want to threaten that keep there. Haunting wave going to be just to clear out the creep wave a little bit. All the walls are down. The blue team relics, they still don't have their level 16 just yet, but they might want to be careful. Trinity going to get taken down just like that. Railgun coming in by the Hiskoa on the Tychus as they will be able to take down this bottom keep. And I think they might even go for core here. Yep. The blue side, they just can't deal with this repel. They're trying their best to defend against this. They will be able to repel them for now, but not for long though. They are just going to hit towards the area and get that uh, Dragon Shrine, Dragon Knight. And they are going to be able to push in and probably get another set of keeps or even maybe they get the core here. So this is not looking good at all for Relics. They look like they are lost and a bit confused on what to do. I think they need, really need to go back to the drawing board and rethink their strategy here coming into the next two games. And already you can see Sonia top lane going for the Sun Shrine. Decides to pull back out. Zace is in the vicinity. Zess and is that going to be a gust? Don't think so. Mur, they want to pick up this kill. And they do so successfully, but the rest of Renovash are also in the vicinity. And no level 16 yet. Banba now gets spotted. Ha ha, he goes in with a power slide. There goes the Avatar. Also, you see the Dragon is a drill being popped, but may just be an absolute waste here. And just chasing after Bun Bun is the Tychus. You also see the Willing Arrow completely missing. The Ancestral does not connect. Ha ha, channels up the ETC Moshpi, but it connects on nobody. Stronger in a lot of trouble now. The Hyperion, but the Cruiser operational behind firing away. VYY also goes down. Four men down on the Filipino team. And Ha ha is just pulling back out on Billy. Uh, that little thing there that the cow is riding on but I think it is gonna be okay yeah relics again finding some self-confidence finding some self-hope in that as we see Fausta taking flight to the bottom to pick off on the moonshine that's gonna allow them to get the Dragonite unless ETC has anything to say about it we do have a replay available so let's take a look at what happened there I think uh, Renovasho just went in a bit too deep after they taking out the Jumpy Lion. It wasn't that. It wasn't that. Look at this. This is a good pick off first. Yes, correct. But the key thing is that they sidestep every big thing. Yep. 
from Renovatio. I want to point out how important this part is. You look at Ban Ban. Just in a bit of a trouble, pulling back in. Dragon Lizard Drill, wasted. And you see the Willing Arrow coming in from the back, wasted. wasted. Yep. They sidestep too big one, they deny the Ancestral Healing, and from then on they know they're going to win this fight. This is also wasted, the yep. Marsh Pit. Three heroics, absolutely wasted. The Laser Drill is drilling at the minions. That's not what you want to do with something so powerful. Yep. Really unfortunate there for Renovatio, but Relics again finding some self hope, finding some self confidence coming to back into this. Hopefully, they will be able to drive as we can even hear. I, I heard the, the nice yeah, ass, you know, I, all the I, way I, from yeah. here. <laughs> nice yeah, that's, that's, that's what we say here in Singapore, I think. Yeah, uh, yeah, yeah. In Malaysia as well, you know. Ah, uh, nice. Uh, it's yeah. Just, yeah <laughs> nice, you know. No, even, even in America, yeah. they, they shout nice when you get a kill. So. Correct, but yeah, we just uh, go nice ah. <laughs> yeah, a bit of a local flavor. Yeah, yeah. local flavor there. Uh, but yeah, now Re Re Relics, they have their groove back a little bit. They have that, you know, momentum. Maybe they will be able to get this, but Renovasho is definitely not going to let up. They definitely are still in the lead here. Relics just was able to narrow that gap down a little bit more. I, I, I don't think they did anything with the Dragon Knight, to yeah, be honest true. with you. Just the front structures. Yeah. They're rejoicing a little bit too early. Correct. But that was a great and much yes. needed fight to try and level this game. Yes. Because it's still... Uh, three quarters of a level lead mm -hmm. here for Renovasho. They just turned 18 on Relics. They are ready for the picking now. Yep. But Relics will be able to narrow this game down a little bit more. And if, as long as they get another good fight here, oh, Stormbo going to connect up to down. ETC. Trying to burst down the ETC is not going to happen. Ooh, Foul start making his way towards this area. This could be danger for them. We do see a mighty guys coming up from Zest and this could be trouble. Hyperion going to be used up now. Har Har not in a really good position. Ban Ban in the background as well. Har Har dropping really low. They will be able to take out the laser drill, but Jumpy Light in the background. Ancestral healing a little bit preemptive there as he doesn't really bring him back up a lot. Jumpy Light now going a bit far too deep. He gets taken down. Relics wants to go for this Marsh Pit. Only going to connect on one and Har Har instantly going to get cancelled out. He gets taken down too. Down goes the Foul start. However, Viva why haunting wave into the back lines they want to go for this Mer Renovasho is coming back stronger and stronger and just as you saw Relics pushing up ahead Trinity himself now could be in some trouble Ban Ban trying to run as fast as he can Bro, stronger that's not wow. going to give chase his score are going to finish him off down goes Ban Ban last hit and I think it's GG here they are going to go for this. Only the Grey Man left. Will he be the hero of his team? But just as we saw a glimpse of hope there in that clash, Renovasho, oh. man, they power through it and they take it. He's got no go for the throat. I don't think he's going to be able to do anything here. Yeah. No. He's, he's going to try. Oh, though. oh, yeah. Mm -hmm. He is. He takes one down. He takes a second Ooh. one down. And all of a sudden, it may not just be game. Zeish just <laughs> saved his game here. And his co having to run back out, but still you see the catapult's coming and maybe he should come back here. I don't know. Yeah. Three seconds. No, no, no. It's better to go back out. All right. Great job. Sonia's going to go for the Sun Shrine. He'll be going for the Dragon Knight soon. And uh, in general, the mistake there, I think, was uh, Brightwing once again being very ineffective mm -hmm, as a healer. Mm -hmm. We have the replay. We're yeah. going to bring it out now. There we go. We got a few seconds here for this one. And as you can see, this was a full fledged fight from both sides. Dragon Laser Drill, very effective. Bun Bun spent a lot of time taking out the Laser Drill. This is still very nicely done. The jump against uh, Sonia. The lockdown. They have the burst. They did that. Ha ha. With the one man mosh pit. Unfortunately, not able to do much of anything. And then they lose the false step. False step's positioning was a little bit off. If he was slightly to the back, it would have been fine. And uh, of course, Brightwing got out of position because he was trying to heal up the false step and he failed at it. So, very unfortunate for that to happen. Yep. Back to real time. We actually have a Dragon Knight now in the bottom lane. Yep, Dragon Knight now pushing down that bottom. Uh, I think Vrindavasha wants to end this right now. Both teams reaching their level 20, so both getting their Storm Talents, of course. They have a Dragon Knight to deal with, of course, it's the Relics team. Ban Ban going in front, they're trying to cancel it out. Foster gets kicked to the back lines, that could have actually saved him there. But yeah, Zest N is going to have to battle. I think it's game here. Yeah, yeah, the moment a Dragon Knight reaches the core, it is going to be easy right-click game right there. Correct. And only 40% left on the core HP. I don't think they're going to be able to successfully defend down this. Down to 50%. Dragonite going to Hyperion being used as well. Haha may lose his Dragonite before he knows it. And the Dragonite getting gusted back out. Laser Drill doing a lot of work, but he will get destroyed at the same time. That extra slamming from the Sony ETC Mothman of three. And Renovasio wins this game. Very nicely done by the Filipino team. 1-0 is the score. Relic so close.
Actually, no, not close at yeah, all. Not close at, at all. Not close at all. The level is close. So close to coming back. Structurally. <laughs> yeah, structurally. They are very far behind. Sylvanas there, a bit of a preemptive GG. I think he was just really excited that they finally won the yeah, game. Yeah. But really nice. They may ETC have broken a few keyboards there, yeah. but uh, I guess they will get them replaced. But of uh, course, it's not the end of it just yet. Nope. Relics still have a chance. They need to win the next two games. But Renovacio, one step through the door of defending their championships here in the C yeah, Regionals, they can actually see that the, the, yeah, the, the end goal, title yeah. back again. It's like, like that That line is right there And they're just about to cross the finish line The checkered yeah. line And Relix is just like there. No, hold on You know And they're <laughs> dragging on And pulling oh, them back it. Yeah, yeah, but, funny. Uh, Just really unfortunate there for Relix They tried their best to fight back into that game They had glimpses of hope But Red of Asher just closing it out After getting the Dragonite Really well placed Marsh Pit there We saw a possible comeback But no, it just didn't happen there yeah. And really unfortunate the for fight. Relix The bottom five yeah. was a mistake I think that they were too aggressive going in they had to uh, either back off or really just do a lot of work. And, you know, Ban Ban did his best. Yep. He tried and take out the laser drill, which he did. And at the end of it, it just does not translate to anything, uh, I think, solid mm -hmm. coming out of that, that fight there. Um, but yeah, so Renovasho 1-0. Okay. And we're now going for a short break, yeah, I believe. going for a short break. I'm going to say this just because I want Relics to come back from this. But this could probably be the last game, guys. <laughs> be the, last game. the next one could probably be the last game so make sure you guys stay tuned we are going to go for a really short break as we prepare for the next one we are going to be bringing to you Relix versus Renovasio Renovasio one step through the door of taking the championship and their tickets to Dreamhack Summer do stay tuned guys because we'll be right back or others. Correct. I think that's the core of their build here. As we do see, again, Jumpy Lion could be in some trouble. Disintegrate going to be used as he is blocked out. He's not going to be able to hook himself away and he's going to go down here. Trinity going to be able to finish him off as the next tribute is just about to spawn. So Yeah, second tribute.